Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Zelda News. It's also kind of a Bastion rant. I don't know which way I'm going to go with this video, even as I'm recording it right now. We'll find out by the time it's done recording, maybe by the time I've edited it, whether I've decided this is a Bastion rant or a Zelda News. But the point is... You've probably heard that fans are remaking Ocarina of Time as a 2D game in the style of A Link to the Past, and that is a very cool idea. It is, by the way, an idea that was already attempted like a decade ago, uh, and that never ended up happening uh, for a very good reason that we'll get to in a minute. Um, but so, so first of all, I just want to say that's cool. I would absolutely play this. I am going to anger a lot of people. I might even prefer Ocarina of Time in uh, a style more similar to A Link to the Past than as the polygonal thing that it, it is on the Nintendo 64. But that's that's a debate for another time. But um, uh, I just think, oh geez, what if on the Nintendo 64, instead of doing the 3D thing, they did like a super detailed pixel style that that would have been my preference but anyways i digress the point is um ocarina of time 2d fans are making it i i tried to look for information i don't know who this group of fans are but um they there are some screenshots out there and they look very nice so yeah, I would absolutely play it. I would probably even do a Let's Play of it uh, if I could get around Nintendo's copyright strikes for that, that is. Um, however, <laughs> again, as I said before, this has already been attempted and did not happen, and uh, I suspect the same is going to be the case in this instance. And so it, here's why. Okay, let let. Uh, most fan games, I would say 99.99% of fan games never reach it to completion. For the very good reason that fans uh, do not have the time to make video games. The, the, there's, a, there's a big reason why these people are not making video games professionally, and that's because they're probably students still learning geography or whatever. Or maybe they do dabble in uh, amateur video game making, but they don't have all the skills necessary yet to make that happen. Or even if they do have the skills, they don't have the time because they have an actual job or school. Uh, so they just, in general, usually do not have the time. Or even, let's say they do have the time and they do have the skills, something else in their real life has a way of coming in and invading and taking away that time or preventing them for whatever reason from completing this. Um, if it's a team of people, oftentimes what will happen is uh, one person will say, well, okay, I'm going to do the uh, this type of programming. You're going to do the graphic design. You're going to do the music. And then one of those people will vanish into the ether and nobody will ever hear from them again. Possibly abducted by aliens, likely not. Likely they just got far too busy with real life and did not have the time to, uh, to, to complete this. And I speak from experience because uh, I have been involved in several fan projects, um, uh, several video game projects. Um, I was making a, an RPG with a friend and he did not vanish into the ether, but he just didn't have time to make the RPG anymore, so that game is never going to be made. Um, I did make my own RPG, but uh, that's a whole another topic for another time. Uh, I have attempted fan games of my own. I've attempted a uh, Zelda 1 style version of Zelda to the Adventure of the Link with the best of intentions. I absolutely was going to complete it. I was like 80% done making it, and then I just kind of didn't like it anymore. I decided I wanted to go in a different direction with it, and that would mean I'd have to redo all of it, basically, and that wasn't going to happen anytime soon, so that got put on the back shelf, and it's probably never going to happen. And, and that, th this is the thing about fan games, is that people have these great ideas, like, let's turn Ocarina of Time into a 2D Link to the Past style game. That's a cool idea, 
but it takes a lot of work. And even if you've got a team of people, in a way, a team of people is worse because you're counting on these people that you probably don't know in real life, and one of them, at least one of them, is not gonna follow through. And so then you're stuck and you're scrambling looking for somebody else. Um, back when I worked at uh, Zelda Universe, we created this thing called Temple Quest. And uh, so it was mainly being headed by myself and one other person. And, uh, and then we amassed together some graphic designers and uh, some programmers and so on. And uh, what, in, in case you're not familiar with what Temple Quest was, it was like this web-based point-and-click Zelda thing. You had to solve these riddles and puzzles and everything. And not to throw anybody under the bus, but the other person that headed it with me completely vanished, and I had to do all of that work. Um, I, sometimes I could get in contact with him and say, okay, this thing or this thing, and he would give some advice, but almost, almost never. Uh, so basically I had to do all of the planning. Um, of the three web developers that we hired, two of them completely vanished. Well, one of them didn't really vanish, but she turned out to be completely useless and then vanished. And so we only had one guy who was doing all of the web programming. The graphic designers it basically came down to two people after it was a team of like five people. So these fan projects, since nobody's being paid for this stuff, they're just doing it for the enjoyment of doing it, they just don't pan out. Uh, almost never, unless there's a crazy person who's like, this absolutely has to get completed no matter what, even if I have to do. I ended up having to do tons of the graphic design, which was not in the cards, and a tiny bit of the web design, which was definitely not in the cards. And, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a crazy person <laughs> to make one of these fan projects happen, and so that's how I suspect some of these fan projects actually do complete. Um, this is not going to be one of them. I'm sorry to say it's just not going to happen. As awesome as it would be, it's not going to happen. And Ocarina of Time 2D, Link to the Past style, is a great concept that has been attempted before and failed miserably. And that's, everybody got very excited, everybody was like, yes, this is absolutely going to happen. And then it did not, uh, and I think that was a one guy uh, team, and if I remember right, I think he faked his own internet death or something like that. If I remember right, people kept being like, oh, when is this going to get completed? You don't, haven't posted any updates. And eventually it was like, oh, did you hear that so-and-so is dead? And he planted that. And if I'm remembering this right. So um, anyways, that's the extreme, of course. So my point is do not count your cuckoos before they hatch. It, it would be a great thing to have come out and to play, but... I gotta say, it's probably not gonna happen, so I guess this was a Bastion rant. So just to be clear, yes, I am excited about the concept of it, and I have been since that first version of Ocarina of Time 2D, like 10 years ago, and uh, yes, I abs if, it com if it came out and was complete, not just a demo, but the actual full game, if that came out and was complete, I would absolutely play it. I would uh, even do possibly a Let's Play of it or something. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I am I am near 100% certain it's that's not gonna happen. But sorry for being negative. That's just my experience with these things. Uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's actually gonna come out or not? Even if it does come out, are you excited about the concept? Would you play it? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's it for this episode of. Zelda news slash Bastion rant. Zelda rant. See you guys tomorrow for more news. Bye.